is your moment. Don't tell me how bad you want it. Prove to yourself how bad you want it. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let nothing get in your way. Every day you wake up, every day you breathe, you should be improving yourself. You should be taking steps to reach your destiny. Don't let nothing stop you. It's your moment. It's your time. How bad do you want it? Do you want it? Go after your dream. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again, live and direct from Unleashing the Creativity Within You. I'm so amped this morning. I'm charged up this morning. I'm ready to go this morning. Woo! I'm coming to you from the message do for self mentality. Do for self mentality. Folks, I want to I want to encourage somebody today that you've been waiting too long. You've been sitting back waiting too long. You've been praying, but it's time to get off your knees and get on your feet and put that dream into action. You've been asking for help from people and they're not helping you. So now it's time for you to do for yourself what God put in you to do from the foundations of the world. It's time for you to get up and take action. It's time for you to grind on whatever level that is. I don't care if it's a small level, if it's a one man or a one woman operation or one child operation, because what, well, don't let me exclude kids, because you could be a kid CEO, right? You can get on your computer and create an app because kids are tech more technologically savvy than adults these days. My son is better on the computer than me. He's eight. Right? He can create an app, which I'm about to get him the, the tools to do so. We're going to blow it out the water. But, you know, you got to start somewhere. Sometimes wait, you keep waiting for the conditions to get better or you keep waiting for people to help you. You know, I don't understand how we have more food pantries in America than ever before. And we still have people that don't have food. We have more, you know, soup kitchens. We got more um, food banks. We got everything. You know, some countries don't even have that. And it's it's a point in time where, you know, people have to say, you know what, I gotta get up and do for myself. I can't look at my kids and see them hungry and I don't do nothing. And these same people who got who go to the food banks and all this stuff, they got cable. They got Jordans on. They got you see some people with their cell phones, they got big uh, Apple iPhones. An uh, Apple iPhone, really? But you got to go to the food pantry, something's wrong there. People got benzes parked outside of apartments that they don't even own. Are you serious? So you got the look of a successful person, but you don't have anything in the bank. You just want to feel and you want people to see you in a particular light. But your finances and your personal life is all out of whack. See? so. For me, it's not about the car. I would get a Hyundai and ride it till the wheels falls off. In fact, I got a Ford right now. And you may say, oh, that ain't nothing. He ain't doing it. My car's paid for, right? And I'm putting my money into assets, things that's gonna pay me, residuals, make money in my sleep. When I go on vacation, making money. When I'm eating dinner with my family, making money, right? And, and, and that's not bragging, that's not boasting, that's that's, that's just trying to point people in the right direction that, listen, if this is where, where the money should be, and this is where we should put it at, why not do that? Why put it into things that as soon as you put the money, as soon as you give the money to it, it's gone forever. One shot deal, you're not getting nothing back from that, right? And we gotta start looking at other people who have made it and emulate what they have done. See, so they always say, don't reinvent the wheel. You can, you can success leaves clues and you can always find it by what people have done in the past, right? It's not difficult to put together mentally. But now, when it comes to doing for yourself, getting up off your hind parts and working, see, you may not be able to get the investment right away, but are you willing to work for it? See, some people are only willing to work a job. You know, I'm not saying you gotta have a business right away. I'm saying sometimes you may have to put that that work in and get two jobs, get three jobs. Listen, if I, if I wasn't business minded and and I'm trying to get real estate investments and I'm a single, if I was a single man or if I didn't have 
kids like I have when I have to balance my time out with them. Listen, I would get three hustles, three jobs, three gigs, and take one check to live off and take two other checks and put them in the bank until I have enough to get me a property. I would make sure my credit is right, make sure my money is right, and I go to the bank and get me a two-family or multi-family property, three unit, four unit, whatever, live in one unit and rent out the other units. Now I'm living for free. And now instead of me doing three jobs, I'll probably just do two for a little while. Take that money and get another one, just like that. Then I'd be down to one job, which I really wouldn't need because my income would be coming from three other units. I live in one for free, then I have another three units. So I have a total of seven units that's paying me every month. And you can do that within two, three years, tops, if you find out the right environment. See, if you live in a big city, you're looking at me like, oh, you crazy, you can't do that. But maybe you need to relocate. Maybe you need, maybe you need to look on the internet and see where exactly you can do something like that at. Right? Sometimes it's not worth staying in an area just because it's familiar to you. Oh, my family's here. You always could visit them. I ain't say you got to go around the country. You can move an hour away, 45 minutes away. You still can visit them. And in fact, it will be better because then someone in the family will have some means to pull everybody else up, to help everybody else. But if everybody's in the same struggle, if everybody's in the same struggle, how can anybody help anybody? We need to have a do for self mentality. We need to be people that say, you know what? I'm not dependent on the government. I'm not dependent on my, my cousins in them. I'm not depending on the rain out the sky. I'm, I'm only trusting in God and I'm depending on me. I'm putting my, my vision, my goals, my dreams into action, right? And I'm going to not let another year go by without me accomplishing this goal. Cause you sitting there waiting. You sitting there waiting. See, I think people miss, people confuse that scripture um, where the Bible says, um, wait upon the Lord on good, be of good cheer and wait upon the Lord. See, waiting upon the Lord does not mean physically waiting. That means within yourself, you are at peace. Within your spirit, you're at peace, but still physically you're taking action, right? Because you can be sitting down waiting for years and years and years, and you should be walking by faith, walking now by sight, taking steps to get closer and closer to the dream, to the vision. My last point as I get ready to get out of here. Do you have it planned out? Do you have a plan? Or what is it that you're trying to accomplish? Do you, did you write it out? Do you have a plan? Do you go over it every day in your mind? Do you speak it out loud? Are you taking the steps to move toward this goal, toward this dream, toward this vision? Unless you're working that thing and you have a do for self mentality, then I'm afraid to say that a lot of people will be stuck exactly where they are. You think that a job, having a job alone is secure? Don't you know that when you sign up for a job, to work at a job, you sign papers that say we can fire you at any given moment for whatever reason we choose. And off of that statement, you say, you know what? You, I'm gonna get a house to live in for myself. I'm, a, you know, I'm not saying a, a multifamily house where you have tenants. So no matter what happens, you're getting rent. I'm saying you're buying a single family house for you. You're getting a, a car note, you know, you're putting your kids in private school or you're paying for camp or whatever. You're getting things on credit, credit cards, all from a job that says that they can fire you at any given moment. That's worse than a lottery to me because now you're putting yourself in a bad situation because if they say, you know, we gotta let you go, you're gonna lose your house, you're gonna lose your car, your kids can't go to that school anymore. They can't go to camp anymore. Your credit cards is going. To, credit card company is going to be calling you out the wazoo because they want their money with interest, and you're putting more stress on yourself than you have to. As opposed to saying, you know what? I'm going to go get me a multifamily property first before I do anything, and get my money right, and get me some tenants, so that now money is working for me, and I'm not working for it. This is your man, Mike Bowens. I'm signing off and saying until next time, be blessed.